Here we are, it's the week of June 15, 2015. A relatively calm week may lie ahead as we see no major disruptive activity, all of which is just fine. One of the myths surrounding astrology is that every day something wild must be happening. The sky is falling. This presents us with a false sense of tension that is not necessary. We are swinging on a great pendulum and like the tide we witness ebbs and flows of times and place. There are bound to be times when life and planets can be quite frenetic, just as there are times when life is calm. Be thankful we have that contrast, for we could not sustain a state of constant turmoil, nor should we. Like so many things, life and astrology most often offer a sense of balance. There is no need for high tension hysteria every hour, day, or week based on some weird alignment. This tendency to overinflate the cosmos is much like the boy who cries wolf. If every day were a cosmic hurricane, we could never be able to make progress or achieve a sense of common purpose. In many ways, this single tendency does more harm to the accuracy of astrology than anything else. Sensationalism, high drama, and dire consequences need not be pre the predicted outcome each day. A longer, more pragmatic view is preferred. This is what mundane astrology is all about. With that in mind, we see the movement of Saturn backing into Scorpio once again this week. Saturn stepped forward into Sagittarius back in December of 2014 and slowly moved forward until March where it turned and began to retrograde. This week, after slowly backing out of Sagittarius, Saturn returns to the late degrees of Scorpio where it remains until September. But it will not be until November that he is clearly on his way forward. As in the case of all retrogrades, Saturn backwards jaunt is meant to force us to reconsider, reevaluate the area of your life where Saturn permanently resides. Saturn is one of our champions despite the bad reputation he gets. The source of dread so commonly associated with Saturn is simply our reluctance to step in and clean up. Responsibility, accountability, and honor are Saturn's key attributes. When we do the right thing, we are amply rewarded. Not only are, is our, are our consciences clear, but we find that the purpose in doing what we do may be difficult, but ultimately necessary. Like children who are forced to clean up their messes, we tend to resist the task before us. Yet when we complete such duties, we are enlivened with a sense of accomplishment and pride. In that capacity, Saturn is our truest friend. Enjoy him. Where is he in your chart, for example, in binatal position? Where is he now transiting? Which house is he in? Contact me, contact me to find out. Listen each week to Turning of the Wheel podcast on iTunes. Interesting guests, topics. I'm always trying to push the envelope and getting interesting topics and broaden our minds, you know, in some capacity. If you want a reading from me, I'm very good at what I do. Trust me, I've got a lot of people who have testified to that. 978-393-1036. If you're going through hard times, I can help you. My website is turningofthewheel.com, and the way you are watching this is turningofthewheel.tv. While you're on that site, I encourage you to look around. There's a lot of educational material there that can really help you. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on YouTube. People beat me up on Facebook sometimes, but thank you for those of you who came to my uh, rescue and offered up your opinions. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you again next week. And I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. So <laughs> I'll talk to you all then. Bye.